We begin with the grim discovery at the wastewater treatment plant in Utan. Relatives had been looking for a missing man, James McLaughlin, for about 18 hours. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Those relatives noticed damage to a fence and discovered the truck in a lagoon today. Miranda Christian has the latest on the investigation. Miranda? Deputies are still looking what led to this accident. The family told deputies they knew McLaughlin traveled this road to get home, and that's why they went looking there. Saunders County Sheriff deputies were called to the UTAN water waste treatment plant around 1130 on Thursday for a truck in the water. You could see the, uh, the back of the box and it was approximately 15 feet off of the, uh, uh, the berm of the lagoon. Sheriff Kevin Stukenholt says 66-year-old James McLaughlin was inside the truck when crews pulled it out of the lagoon. He says the family went looking for the man after he didn't come home Wednesday night. His family members were out uh, looking. They knew approximately the road that he would take. The sheriff believes the truck went into the water around 6 p.m. Wednesday. There's still an investigation to why the man drove off the road. You can see the fence is broken and the tire tracks leading to the water. And had to have some speed uh, to get up over the bank and as far into the lagoon as he went. There is no sign of foul play, and this road is not known as a dangerous one. Well, we have increased traffic as a result of Highway 92 being closed down, but uh, not necessarily a dangerous road. Deputies, deputies said McLaughlin was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of the crash. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.